there besties hope everyone is doing well i'm awesome in the middle of the caribbean as hot as you know what sun is shining clouds everywhere was on the deck is too hot because i had to come down here and make some videos while i have the room to myself so here we go right i put a community post up about this but i wanted to talk to it because y'all woo, woo, y'all i don't even know what to say all right Jason Lee of Hollywood Unlocked is going to find a way to blame you ninjas if slash when Biden does not get reelected, i.e. Kamala. OK, you know, personally, I think the reason for this is because of how frail Biden is. That means that Kamala would become president. And I think that that is the real agenda. At the end of the day, we got a first black woman president. We got a woman president and she's a black woman. OK, this is just my thought process. All right, y'all. So we're going to get to the Donald Trump part, because in my opinion, He's trying, or whoever wrote this article, let me not say it's Jason Lee, but we know where Jason stands. They want to pump fear into having um, Biden, I'm sorry, Trump as president. It's going to be a problem, an issue for the blacks, for you Negroes, you coloreds, okay? So you want to make sure that you go ahead and vote for Biden again, all right? So this is an opinion piece, how black Americans got bamboozled into undermining Kamala Harris, child. I wish I had my soundboard right now. So you ninjas, all you colors, this is all in. You got bamboozled because you're undermining Kamala Harris. So the caption reads, Saturday, October the 12th, Vice President Kamala hosted a celebration of hip hop's 50th anniversary. Let me just stop right there, okay? I know I said it in the original video, but a bunch of people, black people dancing and uh, singing to hip hop is supposed to make you want to go vote for other black people. This is how low people think of black people, and that is other black people. Any buffoonery, any uh, ninja nonsense is supposed to make you say, yeah, I'm invited to the cookout. You invited to the cookout. All that foolishness, okay? When are people going to grow to F up? When are people going to grow to F up and stop equating everything to what it is that you freaking see that means nothing at the end of the daggle? Child, let me finish this caption. With many of the music genres, pioneers like Common, MC Light, Jeezy, Roxanne, Shantae in attendance. So that's supposed to make y'all say, yes, yeah, sis. Go, sis. Now, normally, if anyone in political office took the time out to invite a bunch of legendary MCs to their home and proudly pronounce hip hop culture is American culture to a crowd of cheering fans with tons of black media present, that would very quickly be applauded as a moment for the culture. And y'all know how I feel about the culture, okay? Because for the culture usually means typical Negro nonsense that's ghetto and ratchet and makes no daggone sense. This is the same people that would big up Sexy Red and Sukiana. Now, why ain't they bringing them up in this video? That's what I want to know. Why is Jason Lee and his whoever is writing this article not bringing up those people? Because, you know, they are a part of hip hop as well. Maybe not from the 50th year, but y'all big them up and act like they're a great part of the culture, which is why I can't be a part of the culture. Because y'all are half damn crazy. Ninja nonsense. Yeah, for some reason, this time, that wasn't the response. When Hollywood Unlocked Jason Lee posted a video of Kamala dancing at the festivities, it went quickly viral with a lot of the keyboard warriors on black Twitter roasting the 58-year-old for dance moves instead of applauding her efforts to highlight a beautiful milestone. So you, uh, you all can't talk about Kamala. But you're supposed to take that moment and say, yeah, she hosted all these people from hip hop. So we should reelect her as vice president. She had a bunch of people from hip hop over to her house and she was dancing with them. If that ain't the buffoonery and the coonery, then I don't know what is. Just because she's shaking that thing to vibrant thing, y'all supposed to fall in line and vote for her because that's the bar. That's the bar for you Negroes, you hear me? And that's the bar that Jason has, but he gonna have the audacity and the nerve or whoever wrote this article to talk about somebody being coonish and buffoonerish. Now, any other time they love black Twitter, black Twitter, oh my God, look at black Twitter, black Twitter, black Twitter. 
Now, because it's a different opinion, how many times do I say this? As long as you're going along with what people think, the masses, then everything is all good in the hood. But God forbid you have a different opinion. You don't go along with the get along. Shout out to Kwame Brown. Then all of a sudden, you ain't ish. You ain't no good. You the problem. It's all Jermaine's fault. Crusty, dusty, musty, rusty, ashy bums. But then going to have the audacity and the nerd to talk about who's following whom and being bamboozled. I'm thinking that whoever wrote this article and Jason, the other ones that are being bamboozled while out here trying to act like they know so daggone much. Everybody can do their own research, pure point blank, like we did. And just because someone doesn't go along with you because they're black, then that's going to be, um, what do they say? You're not invited to the cock out. So then they shame you. They try to shame people who don't go along with them politically. So help me understand how that's any different as to what they claim the white people do. Because you know everything is the white people's fault. Child, let me get through this caption. I ain't got through it. And that's when I started to ask myself, why are so many black Americans determined to not give this woman a chance? Because we are not required to give anyone anything just because we share the same complexion. That's coonery. That's that's pro. I guess that's pro black. We're supposed to just all go all in and not have any questions, not have any concerns. Just because you black, I'm black. We're supposed to all get together. That's why we got dumbasses out here trying to say that it was okay for those black and brown people who was walking around doing GTA all day. Them kids, the kids, the gremlins, who took out that retired police officer and saying that, oh, okay, it's all good because he was a police officer. See, this is why I can't identify with you, a lot of you Negroes because you're ignorant asses who will mean harm to me because I don't agree with you and your buffoonery, coo coonish foolishness. You don't even use common sense. You do these things to the detriment of yourself. There's no way on God's green earth that anybody could sit up here and give a reason for those gremlins to have done that to that daggone man they didn't know he was a policeman they didn't know he was a retired policeman they just said oh let's go out here and cause chaos and because a lot of negroes colored coons sit up here and say you can't do anything to him that's a racist that's a racist that's a racist those are the people that are hurting the heart hurting and harming the community but you'll cut for those idiots you cut for those idiots. You'll go up here and try to get bail laws so that black people don't go to jail. Knowing damn well, a lot of them that are getting arrested need to go to jail. But because they're black, you want to call racism and they should be out. Then they're out here and they cause more chaos or they delete someone. Then that person's out here talking about, well, why weren't they in jail? They should have been in jail. Because your people, because your people out here saying that it's racist to put people in jail. Child, the dysfunction in the community. True. I ain't got time. One of the first commenters was the right-winged angel. That's my guy. He said, how much did Kamala pay you to write this garbage? Child, you would think that she does have daggone Hollywood unlocked on lock, okay? But anyway, moving on to the next slide, y'all. I done ran off at the mouth already. Okay, so then they just reiterate what we already saw right here. So then, whoever this person is says, I'm totally gagging at Kamala dancing to Vibrant Thing at her 50th anniversary of hip-hop party okay so she acknowledged that it was vibrant thing she acknowledged that it was the hip-hop party but because she said that she don't like kamala dancing then that's where the line is drawn tell me that that's not buffoonery and coonery right there what is that she mentioned the 50th anniversary of the hip-hop the vibrant thing but because she said she totally gagging at kamala that's your issue come on hollywood unlock i'm gonna just call it hollywood unlock so now they want to say how they tricked us. I will admit that during the VP selection process, I too found myself giving Harris the side eye due to numerous outlets touting her as tough on crime prosecutor determined to throw innocent black and brown men in jail. So all of a sudden, you know, previously it was the crime bill, the crime bill with Biden and then tough on crime, tough on crime. Tough. Like, why would we be soft on crime, y'all? I, I just want to understand why being tough on crime is now in a black issue or not. Like, do we want soft on crime? We have soft on crime now. Remember, uh, defund the police, defund the police. Now you got gremlins out here doing whatever they want, carjacking like it's a daggone sport, holding people up, taking stuff out of every daggone store so that the stores get closed down and they're no more. And then you want to blame it on racism, but you don't want to do anything about your gremlins. And it's not just the ones that are under um, 18. It's a lot of ninjas out here ninja, ninja I'm not saying that the white 
people aren't doing it. But guess what? It doesn't affect them the same as it affects the rest of you Negroes, those that live in the community, in the community, in low income areas, in places where there are already food deserts, in places where there are already high crime. And then un unless it affects you, then you don't care. Then you're talking about it's not right, it's not fair, because allegedly you can't afford to get your people out of jail. How about this? If you don't commit crimes, you ain't got to worry about it. If you ain't out here doing wrong or hanging out with people that's doing wrong, you ain't got to worry about it. But I guess that's just a foreign concept. So in, to combat that so that your gremlins can be out here doing whatever the hell it is that they want, good, bad, and indifferent, let's just be soft on crime to your own detriment and then turn around and call it racism and then blame Biden, Harris, and Trump and Obama and everybody else instead of minding or looking at the fact that you're doing this. You're saying that you don't want people to be tough on crime because you're black. So then the people that are terrorizing your neighborhoods that you don't want to tell on, you don't want to snitch on, you don't want to call out, you don't want to go to jail until you do. And then you try to blame it on the police, the oppressor, the oppressor. Okay. Those sensational headlines were understandably off-putting, especially during the height of the BLM movement when most of us felt like you're either with us or against us. And the media seemed to constantly be reminding us that Harris was most, uh, most definitely not with us. So that's where you do your own research. Everybody always talk about the media, the media, the media, but don't nobody want to read no books. Don't nobody want to pick up a newspaper. Don't nobody want to look into anything. They go and follow Hollywood Unlocked, The Shade Room, On Sight, the neighborhood talk instead to get their news, to get their updates on Krishan and Blueface on a daily basis, child. But in the last few years, the facts have started to reveal that many of our concerns about her top cop past were exaggerated and that we'd once again been bamboozled by the oldest trick in the book, Divide and Conquer. No, I don't even blame the Kamala part about Biden. Like, I don't even blame anything about Biden, okay? Like, the man got elected, he got elected, okay? I don't think that he or the Democratic Party is smart enough to swindle votes and all that stuff. That's just me. That's just my opinion, okay? Man got elected, that's it, that's all. But everybody was talking about the crime bill, 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 the crime bill. Seems to have not mattered about the crime bill when it came to him against Donald Trump. So people and everyone that voted for the current administration, now you got to deal with it. Now you got to deal with it. So all the issues that everyone is on TikTok complaining about is student loan debt. It's the eggs. It's the crime. It's the, the gas prices. It's the car payment. It's the strikes. It's Portland. It's Chicago. It's the and, uh, asylum seekers. All these things are now specifically under Biden administration's watch. So I want to know where all these people, where the Hollywood Unlocked team is with their thoughts and opinion on all those things while you're sitting up here touting Kamala just because she's black. Talk to some of the issues. Stop talking about her race. Talk to the daggone issues. But no, you ninjas are supposed to just blindly follow people just because they are black. And you see where that gets us, right? You see Brandon, what's his name in Chicago? You see Brandon, what's his name, Doogie in Baltimore. You see that lady as, as the mayor of that town in the suburb of Chicago, who's out here reenacting New Jack City, who has people, the cops out there, the black cops, of course, getting more pay than you will ever see in your daggone life. But nobody wants to talk against her because she's black and you black and we're just supposed to stick together even through foolishness. And then wonder why we get nowhere. We just read the daggone stats. Black people ain't worth shit. Ain't trying to be worth shit. Don't worry about being worth shit. Just worried about who they can floss in front of currently. But y'all, let me get back to this. But in the last few years, the facts have started to reveal that many of our concerns about the top cop pass were exact. Okay. The devil works hard, but the GOP's white conservative propaganda machine works even harder. Hmm. 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 Let them say that about black people and see how the world goes a blazing, at least the United States of America. So y'all, so they going to talk about how we got tricked and then toss out the same old, the devil works hard, but the GOP's white conservative propaganda machine works even harder. And it is now my belief that they're very cleverly, cleverly convinced us to cannibalize one of our own under the guise of intelligent critique. So the GOP, the white people, y'all, the white 
people is out here making y'all ninjas believe and think all oh, you colors and negroes okay that there's something wrong with kamala you need to you go in against her and that's the white people because they're calling you dumb they calling you not an ounce of sense. You don't know ish. You ain't got no brain. You can't think of for yourself. And you're supposed to align with black people at all times. If you're skeptical reading this, I understand. But let's just take emotion out of it for a second and look at the facts. When it comes to serving the community, ah, since being in office, the Biden-Harris administration has invested over $7 billion in America's HBCUs. If we ain't going to college, we do not care. And college ain't on my thing. So guess what? That don't help me. Gotten black unemployment down to near record lows. Now, I don't know if that's true or not, but you know, after a while, when you don't have a job, you get taken off of the rolls. Can't think of what that's called, so you're not even included included in the numbers, okay? Reduce the black child poverty rate by more than 12%. I want to know where these sources come from. I want to know, how come they're not citing their sources here? Created more than 13.4 million jobs in the wake of COVID-19. Reverse decades of infrastructure disinvestment in communities of color, in, including investing $4 billion to reconnect the communities to economic opportunities. Well, help me understand why we keep seeing news programs where they're saying that the Walmart is leaving, the Aldi is leaving, the Whole Foods is leaving. Somebody try to come in and then the blacks are upset because they ain't talked to them first. The prices are too high. It's not right. It's not fair. How come you're leaving? We got to go so far. Why do we have to go so far? It's not right. I don't have a car. Where all that come from if everything is everything? And we've seen that in plenty of states. I call cap on that. Increased black enrollment in healthcare.gov coverage by a whopping 49% from 2020 to 2022. Okay. Made maternal mortality, which affects black mothers three times more than anyone else, a national priority, including expanding postpartum coverage to Medicaid from two months to 12 months and increasing coverage from three states to 35 states. All right, so that's something I would assume that you can find out. But let's talk about the black woman mortality real quick. Could it be because you're too fat? Could it be because of high cholesterol? Could it be because of high blood pressure? Could it be because there's no activity, no exercise? Could it be because there's already strain on your heart? Could it be because you're not eating right? I guess none of those things have anything to do with it. I know. I'm a racist. I'm a coon. Pick me, mammy. Pick me, mammy. Got it. Expanded access to capital for minority-owned small businesses with over $12 billion for community leaders. All right. Uh, most of that don't affect me. I do not care. And this is just a small taste of what I was able to find. You incited no source. And cited no source. And this is journalists, y'all. This is supposed to be real journalists right here. The list of strides that this administration has made focused squarely on improving the lives of black Americans is actually pretty extensive with many, if not most of those initiatives being spearheaded by Harris herself. Here's the thing. Let's, all, let's only look at things based off of what black people get, right? That's a subset of black people if we want to just keep it black, right? What are they doing for the middle class? Help me understand because I ain't seen nothing. Help me understand what Biden Harris has done for the middle black class family or higher middle class black family. Okay. Cause I ain't seen it. Now I'm not out here complaining. I'm not on TikTok. I'm not on here saying this, that, and the third about nothing because I'm quite satisfied with where I am because the rest of that minimally is going to have an effect on me. How I live my life, how we live our life is how we live our life. That's it. That's all. I would never be going to talk about how I need the government to give me this, give me that, give me this, give me that. For infrastructure, absolutely take care of it. I believe that period point blank. But a lot of this stuff that they just cited is stuff that black people do to their daggone selves. But Hollywood Unlocked is not going to acknowledge that at all. Because, you know, black people do no wrong. They do everything right. They're perfect. They never get it wrong. And everything should be given to them just because they're black. Sounds pretty lazy to me. But what the hell do I know? However, for some strange reason, much of this isn't being reported on the news. Instead, the instead the rhetoric that we, we reported on Hollywood Unlocked. Instead of talking about Krishan and Blueface every damn day, why are you not putting this as what you put out for your publication over millions of people on a daily basis? That should be the question to Jason and team. And not sitting up here trying to shame people because they don't like who you like. Put out the stats. Put out the daggone sources and go ahead and change your platform from ghetto fabulous ratchetness into something that you think or you act like you care about. Make it political. I bet you he won't and don't. You're not going to give up on talking about um, that 
pinky doll person, but also that woman who's pregnant and gay, whoever the hell that is, queen op or something like that, all the most retarded ass shit that y'all be putting out here to the detriment of the black community, but then want to talk, turn around and talk about how good things are going under the Biden administration for the black community, when most of what you show is dysfunction. Jason Lee straight said he came from love and hip hop, dysfunction. Always putting up what's going on with Zeus, dysfunction. Always talking about sexy red Sukiana, dysfunction. Talking about Nicki Minaj the other day and all her crap with her husband, dysfunction. But then going to turn around talking about how everybody should be doing political things in the media, the media. You are the media, Jason. You are the media. So are you part of the problem? Instead of rhetoric that we keep hearing is that she's hiding away somewhere doing nothing with folks being asked, where's Kamala hiding? The answer to that question is she... I'm sorry, if she hasn't been hiding at all and has just been busy working to save our black asses. Goodbye, sir, madam. Meanwhile, on the day former President Donald Trump was indicted, social media was full of black people, particularly black men calling you ninjas out. It's always your fault. It's always your main fault. Taking videos of themselves, proudly stating they'd still vote for him even if he was convicted. When many of these people were questioned in the comment section as to why they felt such loyalty to Trump, they cited that they liked his bravado bravado and that he was good for their wallets how is it that it's all ugh, that all it took was some frag flagrantly y'all i can't talk flagrantly problematic posturing about 1800 and stimulus checks for so many people in our community to see the racist white man who puts children in cages as a hero See, these people can't even, like, y'all know that I'm not a Trump supporter. Y'all know that, okay? But that don't mean that we can't disagree and still know one another. I don't have to talk about y'all. I don't have to talk about y'all just because you like Trump. I completely understand, to be perfectly honest with you. I completely understand, to be honest with you. But that doesn't mean that I got to put you down because you don't agree. And I hope that you wouldn't put me down because I don't agree with you. That don't mean that I necessarily support even Biden and Kamala because I think they all have to, not all, but I think Kamala and Biden is half damn crazy. Biden is not even there. He's not even mentally there. And they're still going to put this man up as to be the damn nominee or to go for re-election. Because God forbid if something happens to him, then they really want Kamala to be the first black woman president. I'm telling you, that's what this, in my opinion that's what, that's what this real agenda is. So that the sisters can really be out here saying, yeah, we did that. Yeah, sis, go sis. Okay. So shame y'all. Let's, let's continue with the shame in language. But when a black woman spends years pumping literal billions of dollars into our communities in every sector from healthcare and small business to education and even the environment, we still find ourselves rolling our eyes at her and cracking jokes about how much rhythm she has in her two-step. She ain't got no rhythm in her two-step. So we we can talk about everybody else and what they do, but we can't talk about Kamala. So note that, y'all. You can talk about everybody else. You can talk about Kiki Palmer. You can talk about Sukiana. You can talk about Christian and Blueface, but you cannot talk about Kamala, okay? Probably because that's racist. I hate to say it, but the true coon behavior is coming more from the audience than from the podium. Mm, mm, mm. I tell you, way to get people on your side, child. And I fear that when history, uh, when history objectively looks back at this chapter, it is U.S., the general public, that will be the ultimate but, B-U-T-T, -T, of the joke, with scholars wondering why we were so determined not to support an administration that so, care, so clearly cares about the very issues we've always complained about debunking the top cop myth back in june of this year nbc news poll reportedly found that harris had the lowest approval rating of any vice president in history a suspicious honor given that people like mike pence and dick cheney who both have about as much charm and grace as a disney supervillain once held the office so you got to have charm and grace y'all that's the criteria charm and grace what the stunning statistic underscores is how deeply both racial bias and MSG are ingrained in all of our subconscious minds, which then makes us harbor an illogical fear of women in high positions of power. I have to be honest with you. Okay, let me be honest with y'all for a second. I don't give a damn about women in high power. There's some spaces that women don't need to be in. Yes, I am a woman. I'm a black woman because you don't know how to act. So, Jason, why are you not calling out that daggone mayor over in, um, Dalton, Illinois, I believe, who's out there talking about Biatch better have my money while playing that song by Rihanna. Why are you not sitting up there talking about her as she sits up here and runs this city like she's the daggone president? 
or whatever city it is. Why she's not reenacting such ghetto stuff as New Jack City. Because that's what black people do is they relegate your thought process to stuff like that because they that's how much they think of us. Plus, many black people don't read. They're not financially responsible. They barely raise their children. But Jason, you don't want to talk about that. Hollywood Unlocked don't want to talk about that. You don't want to talk about all these states where black people run them and they look like ish holes. The one in Chicago, whichever brand in that is, don't want you to call the kids names even though they're terrorizing the whole damn city. The city is ish. You can't talk about them because then he'll call you out. You got New York under Adams, half damn crazy. Whoever's down there in Atlanta, whoever is over there in, um, in Chicago, oh no, we said Chicago. Whoever is over in California, the women there, half damn crazy, don't know what they're doing. The, the, it's a, it's a, uh, it's a, uh, what is she? Um, Asian one can't think of her name. Then there's the same people who've been in forever. Still ain't doing ish. Maxine waters waters. I think that's her name and plenty of the other ones. Okay. I don't know their names by heart. Cause I do not care. Okay. I gotta be honest with you. I don't care, but you know what? I don't conform to what everybody else do. And I most certainly don't conform to what uh, ninjas do, meaning colored Negroes, because y'all get it wrong half of the damn time. Won't open up a book, won't look into anything, won't read up on nothing, won't improve your own financial future. You want the whole government to take care of you, but then you're going to say that you don't want nobody to tell you to do anything. <laughs> but you always want something from someone. Half of the health problems is because of the way we, way that we eat and don't exercise. But, you know, you want to blame that on racism. Shout out to Brittany Cooper, I believe. Everything is racism. Everything is ra I can't be a part of that foolishness. Hell, I probably sound like a divester right now because this is these are the things that they be saying. Nobody wants to be a part of that foolishness. You, you excuse bad behavior all the time and will not call it out. And as soon as someone does call it out, you get to be called all these names and people want to take you down because you don't agree. No, I don't. No, I don't. No one has to tell anyone who the hell it is that they voting for. But if they do and you don't agree, so then that means that you can't know them. You're just as ignorant as the other side that you complain about. You tell me that we can't have dialogue. We can't talk. We can't be cool. We can't be friends just because you believe one thing politically and I believe something different or I'm not interested in the same things that you are. Try to tell somebody something and then you get all mad. It's not fair. It's not right. I shouldn't have to pay this. I shouldn't have to pay this. What? How do you live in this world if you don't take care of your damn self? All this is half damn crazy. There's an agenda out there. Sorry to you gentlemen. You already know. This is the same difference as what was going on in Atlanta at that last daggone election with um that Britney child or whatever her name was. I don't even remember her name right now. You know what I'm talking about. It's too many. It's too many. Women are too emotional. They F crap up. I'm a woman so I can say it. I know it. Women are too emotional. Just go ahead and take a look at TikTok. They run off at the mouth. They're looking at things from an emotional perspective. You can't even be freaking uh, unbiased. You, you're barely intelligent, especially if you went to college. You Most of y'all looking dumb. If it don't apply, let it fly. I went to college. Okay. But, you all, but at the end of the day, you can't tell black women anything. And now, if Kamala and Joe don't get elected... It's all Jermaine fault. Anyway, that's it. That's all. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. We'll be at 20K ASAP. Appreciate you all. Make sure you comment. Make sure you like the uh, video. I will see you all in the next one. Will that be physically? We do not care.